Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. This morning I decided to do something different. Uh, I decided to come to my local uh, wetland and go for a photo walk. Uh, this is something I love to do. Uh, I always bring my dog and uh, yeah, it's a really nice way to start the weekend and start the day. Just go out in sunrise, photographing whatever you see. And as you can hear, there are a lot of birds here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, gray geese, some uh, common golden eyes, black headed gulls, uh, some mute swans, song swans. So, yeah. Uh, so I thought I could bring you guys with me uh, and hopefully you like this concept of mine. Uh, so let's see if we can photograph some birds today. <laughs> so. so I love the way the mute swans are cruising by with their wings uh, up, stretched out and up. Uh, I always think think like they're uh, looking like this uh, Japanese uh, thin paper uh, they are really beautiful so yeah it seems like it's only the mute one that are doing that so who knows but uh, yeah let's wait and see what's happened So I'm hoping for calmer water and in a small pond just in front of me it's very sheltered from, uh, from the wind and it's just a small pond and it seems like it's calm water and now we just need to find a good subject to photograph. Uh, I can see some barnacle geese they are always fun. Uh, gray geese. Looks like a common, uh, common golden eye as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping for cutes. I don't know why, but they have a fascination for cutes. And I just think they are adorable and they're so fun to look at. So. found a cute in the location I wanted to and it's currently looking for food and eating some, some seaweed and uh, we are still waiting for the sun to rise and hopefully it will do it will soon I think about five to ten minutes and and the water will start to glow. Uh, hopefully the, the cute will come closer because it's pretty close to the reeds now. Uh, but it seems we might have some uh, some action going on some soon. Another cute is coming this way and I think they are rivals. Hopefully for me, too bad for for the, the smaller cute, but I think they are gonna fight. Let's see.
Yeah, so the cutes moved away as, as when the sun came up, uh, unfortunately. So we will have to try and see if we can find anything else uh, on this small pond. Bakers! On, on the left of me, we have a few geese. We have two mute swans coming up on the on the pond to the right but they are swimming uh, to the right so let's see if we can get like a backlit swan picture or or maybe some gulls why not Beautiful morning, beautiful morning. It sure feels nice to feel the sun. Uh, we have had uh, pretty bad weather the last couple of days. Last day, yesterday we had storms and snow, rain, summer uh, in one day and it was insane but uh, yeah feels good to feel the sun again so if you are new to wildlife photography i can highly recommend visiting a local wetland or a local park with uh, uh, a lot of common uh, birds which are used to people and by doing so you have the ability to photographing them without having to deal with uh, finding the wildlife and the birds and gives you a lot of space to practice your photography, uh, practice your composition, uh, fine tuning the exposure and just to have fun. Uh, this spot that I'm at is very local, it's only, I don't know, two, three minutes drive from where I live and uh, there are a lot of birds a lot of migrating birds and nesting birds during summer and especially the swans they aren't too afraid uh, they most often come as close as just a few meters actually a swan is just swimming by there just behind me coming to uh, towards me and I have another one just behind me there so as I said really nice uh, I can highly recommend this going to a local uh, wetland and photographing and recording and practice your photography as well so yeah Thank you.
as I walked back to my car, I spotted two teal duck, one female and one male one. And I've been wanting to photograph them for so long. And if you have uh, watched my previous video, you might uh, figure, you might have figured out that I have a love for a waterfowl. <laughs> and uh, I haven't photographed a teal duck before, but now I finally managed to. It wasn't the best photo. Uh, it was a bit too far, uh, too close to the background. So uh, it wasn't an isolated the type of photo I wanted, but at least it was a photo and I wanted to share it with you and share my, my first photo of the teal duck. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Again, thanks for watching and hope you uh, enjoy this video. And if you want to see more, leave a comment down below and uh, I will make sure to make more of these photo walks, photo walk styled uh, videos. So, thanks again and until the next one. Bye.